Hey guys, Matt Granger for Photo News and Reviews here with the newly announced, I think just today, Canon 6D, their new entry level full frame uh, camera. Comparing it here to the 7D, you can see there's really not a lot of difference in terms of their overall size. In fact, I would say that the the new 6D feels a little bit lighter and daintier. Let's take a look at them side by side. Okay, here's the 60 and the 70 side by side. This is the 60 that's got the 24 to 105 L. This is rocking the, what's that, the 15 to 85 non-L lens. But in terms of their size, they're really quite similar. Like the difference between the Nikon D7000 and the new D600, in terms of build quality, there's not a lot of difference except that Canon has stuck with their guns and left the pop-up flash off this one as well. So that's now Canon, full-frame cameras with a pop-up flash, it's zero. Taking a look around the backs, you can see that the 6D has moved a lot of the info buttons into, I don't know where it's moved them. There's some new ones along the top here. And like the Nikon, it's introduced a lock button for the mode dial, which a lot of people hate, but other people like it. It's gotten rid of the little nipple button and instead you've got an internal wheel, it seems, inside the big wheel, or at least another press wheel. Surprisingly, the 6D is rocking a single SD card, whereas the 7D had a single compact flash. So neither of them have jewels, which their Nikon counterparts do both have. The 6D has a brand new 20.2 megapixel full frame CMOS, the Digic 5 Plus processor, and it's got built-in Wi-Fi and GPS, which is the first for a full frame DSLR like this. It's got 11 point autofocus, 63 zone dual layer metering sensor, and it'll do four and a half frames per second off that 20.2 megapixel. ISO range is 100 to 25,600 and you can boost that down to 50 and up to 102,400 in high 2 mode. It's got a 3 inch uh, LCD monitor with a 1 million VGA resolution and Canon have really gone for a small size on this one. It's only 15 grams heavier than the DX censored 60D. Okay, so it's certainly very streamlined, especially around the sides. You can see they've removed all of the buttons on here. This side is really nice and thin and tapered out. Um, it does have a mic input, which is great. You know, Canon's been leading the way in DSLR video for some time now, but it doesn't have a headphone port, which is a big surprise, uh, considering the, the D600 does, and most of, well, yeah, all of the Nikon full frames do have that now. Um, also, as I said, no pop-up flash. The build quality, it certainly feels nice. The outsides are some kind of polycarbonate resin. Uh, it feels about the same kind of weight and distribution as, it's, as the 7D. Um, but unfortunately, I can't test out any test shots or even the, you know, how it feels shooting because none of these cameras have any batteries in them at the moment. Now, I know there's a load of people waiting for this camera and it seems most of them are here at Photokina. If you want to get one, you'd better pre-order it because no doubt these are going to sell out. So please subscribe and in the next couple of days, I'll be back here, do a face-to-face -face interview with one of the Canon reps, talk to them about how this fits into their lineup and get you some sample images, including high ISO performance. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon for more photo news and reviews.